it's been a while since I've gotten a scrap TV from my work, but finally, this week, I was able to pick up this battered old sharp 25-inch CRT TV. I'd love to be able to get it running, but this one has some disadvantages. The cord has been cut off it by someone, and the power button smashed in, but I'm going to open it up see if I can get the screen to light up so that it can become a nice air cannon target. We'll see what we can do here. This TV's main board was blown. The only way I can get a flicker out of the screen is to uh, hook up an NST and a small transformer to power the filament. Guess that's all I'm gonna get on this TV as far as a picture goes to blast it. Using good safety precautions including heavy leather gloves that come up to my elbows and a uh, full welding face shield, I cut off and completely removed the implosion band from the CRT. Having tested it with the NST and had it light up a little bit as we saw earlier, we know this CRT has vacuum. Since I could not get the TV to work from its main board, I decided that uh, the CRT alone will be today's air cannon target. This is today's bear CRT. This will be my 500th video, so I'm going to shoot a bare CRT from a TV with a bad mainboard that couldn't power up, using the solenoid valve and fire extinguisher tank air cannon, 72 inch long caliber 565 barrel, with the 390 grain round nose hard cast alloy lead slug. Let's get set up and shoot the CRT. The CRT's been set up here 10 meters down range with the steel backstop behind it. And there are two slow motion cameras. One will get a front view and one will get a rear view of this CRT being struck by the air cannon round. I'll be firing at 350 psi momentarily. Oh, uh, that CRT blasted apart.
These were the two biggest surviving pieces of that CRT, the yoke assembly and the neck of the picture tube were blown off in one piece, and to the right to uh, a triangular shaped shard of glass with the anode cup attached to it. Everything else was small chunks of glass and powdered glass, a satisfying pop in the end.